Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we will combine both move transition and slide zoom to create this awesome scrolling slide zoom navigation, as you can see here. We can scroll through the slide zooms to any of them and come back. So let me show you how. So, let's jump into PowerPoint. To save some time, I have already created a couple of slides, so that we can focus on creating scrolling slide zooms. You can download these slides from the link is in the video description. Alright, so we have 6 slides in total, the first slide is where we will create the navigation. Let's activate the morph transition for this first slide. And now we can go to insert and let's click on slide zooms. Now let's just select all the slides that we would like to create slide zooms. We will not click on first slide as it is our homepage slide, and we make sure that we select the rest of the slides. And click insert. Let's make sure that all of these live zooms are selected, let's go to zoom border, and let's choose no outline. Now let's just spread them out a little bit, and basically create a row of slice zooms. Okay so let's just position them into one row. And let's try to keep those gaps equal. We can select all of these slide zooms and group them into one big group. This way it will be easier to move all of these slide zooms around. Next step that we'll have to do is to select each of these slide zooms and go to zoom options, from there check this return to zoom box. This means that once we zoom into a slide zoom, and if we click once again, we come back to the starting slide. And we have to do this slide zoom by slide zoom. One more thing I'd like to do for these slide zooms, is to add a little bit of reflection. So, we'll have to do this reflection once again one by one. And now let's move all these slide zooms to the right, so that this first little slide zoom is in the center of the slide. You can reposition these as you want. Now we are ready, let's add some navigation arrows to the right and left side of the slide. We can just go to this icon tab. And let's search for arrows, and now we can just pick any arrow that we like. For example, this one. And let's just click insert. Now it's black, let's give it a white color. We can resize this arrow just like that. Now let me show you how we can make this arrow clickable, so that once we click it we would scroll to the right side. Make sure that the arrow is selected, let's go to the insert tab, and let's search for this action button. Let's click it, and let's make sure we hyperlink to the next slide, hit OK. Now have to create one more arrow on the left side. So, we can just quickly duplicate the first arrow, and let's flip the second arrow horizontally. And as well we'll have to adjust the action, so that it links to the previous slide. Let's move this arrow outside of the slide window, we don't need this arrow to be visible in the first slide, it will become visible only in the second slide. And now everything is ready, and now we can duplicate the first slide. In the second slide, we will change the position of these slide zooms. So, let's grab this group of slide zooms and move it to the left side, so that the second slide zoom is now in the center of the slide. Now, let's make sure that the move transition is activated for this slide. Let's check it out on the full screen. As you can see once we click on this arrow on the right side, all of these slide zooms are scrolling to the left, that's awesome. Now for the second slide, let's make sure that we select this arrow on the left side, and let's bring it back into the slide. That's great. Now we can duplicate the slide number 2, and let's repeat the steps. Let's move these slide zooms to the left side, so that now the slide zoom number 3 is inside of the center. Okay, so let's finish duplicating the slides and moving these slide zooms. So, all of the slides are ready, and let's check them out on the full screen. So first of all, let's make sure that the slide zooms are working. Now enjoy this and try to scroll to the right side, great. Let's try zoom our slides. That's really beautiful. Let's scroll to the right side, now everything seems to be working fine. Now let's add some more feature to this awesome navigation, that will allow us to quickly scroll through all of the slide zooms. And to do that let's just go to insert shapes, and let's insert a small circle. Hold down the shift key to draw a perfect circle, 
let's give it a white outline. And no fill. And now let's bring this circle just below our slide zooms, and let's position the circle a little bit to the left side, from the slide center. Because we'll have to use two circles, so we can hold down control and shift key, to make a quick copy on the right side. Let's actually fill it with a solid white color, this will indicate that this circle is active. Okay everything is looking good. Now let's insert some actions to these beautiful circles. So, select the circle on the right side let's go to actions, and let's choose a specific slide. And in this case, we need slide number 5, because this is the last slide with a slight zoom navigation. For this circle on the left side, let's make sure that it always points to the first slide. That's great. As a last step let's go to the selection pane, and let's make sure that we give proper names to these circles, with a double exclamation mark. Because morph transition sometimes mixes up when animating similar looking shapes. And by using double exclamation marks morph transition will definitely know which object is which. Okay, so the circles are ready, we can select both of them, let's just copy them, and let's paste them into the rest of the navigation slides. And on the slide number 5, let's make sure that now the circle on the right side has this white fill, this will indicate that we have reached the end of the navigation. And for this circle on the left side let's make it without fill. Now let's check it out on the full screen okay. So first of all, let's check out these navigation bubbles. And once we click on the right bubble, we scroll to the end, and when we click on the left bubble, we come back to the start the navigation. Arrows are working as expected that's awesome. So, this is the end of our presentation, and now you know how you can create this awesome scrolling slide zoom navigation in PowerPoint. Thank you for watching, don't forget to hit the thumb up and consider subscribe to our channel.